One of the truly cool things, great things, I'd argue, about professional wrestling is that you and I can like different styles of wrestling, different wrestlers, different promotions. That's great. That's wonderful. If I like Wrestler A and you don't, cool. I'm going to sweat off my balls. If you like Wrestler B and I don't, cool. Should be no sweat off of your balls or cooch. Right? Wrestling at its best should feel like a variety show in that it has something for everyone. And it, it's really this unique, special form of entertainment. That's what it is. To the idiots that you always hear that'll talk about, oh, wrestling scripted or fake. Of course it is. What isn't fucking scripted or fake in this world? Real talk. What isn't? Politics is. Everything in TV is fucking scripted and fake. Your reality shows, for the people that'll say that dumb crap about wrestling, they'll watch even faker ass reality TV shows. You talk about stage shit, and we haven't even gotten to sports. Oh, don't you dare talk about sports. Yeah, it has a betting line involved, but it's absolutely above board. <laughs> fucking delusional. And that's, that's a great thought. Delusional. Because delusional is what people can't help themselves from being, it seems like, when it comes to John Cena, everybody, every single time he comes back to WWE now. Look, there are a number of you watching this video, many people that are online, that grew up with John Cena and them being a kid because they didn't know any fucking better, believing the perpetual preponderance of propaganda that was pumped out by WWE and hush your loyalty and respect, I'm part of the C Nation. <laughs> and said, you know what? That's your freaking hero. Understood. Like, I grew up watching guys like Hogan and Warrior and shit. So I get it, right? I don't knock you for that. You can't help the environment of wrestling with which you came up in. So if you're happy that he comes back, great. But the problem is, every time he comes back, the delusions begin again. The disconnections from reality never cease. And the pathetic propaganda goes forward full steam ahead. Now look, I understand as a promotion, WWE has to promote propaganda whenever John Cena comes back. As sure as it's annoying when I hear them say, like, it's the greatest of all time. By no fucking measure is he the greatest wrestler of all time. Absolutely none. But you can't be naive about it as a fan. You know that's the name of the game, and WWE will do that shit. They'll overhype everything. That's what a promotion does. That's called promoting. It's delusional. It's disconnected from reality, not supported on any factual basis whatsoever, but hey, whatever. But it's when you start to see wrestling media and wrestling fans start talking about John Cena being the greatest of all time. John Cena this and John Cena that. And it just drives me fucking nuts. Look, Cena is a big name in the history of WWE, in the history of professional wrestling. Nobody can take that away from him. Even if I don't like the performer, I don't like the wrestler, I don't like the guy, that doesn't change, right? He is one of the biggest names in wrestling history. That's a fact. It is. And you would hope for as long as he was used over a decade as a prop by WWE, he better fucking be. He better be a goddamn one of the biggest names in company history. But I think I saw Seth Rollins talk about his WWE Mount Rushmore. And he had Hogan, Austin, Rock, and Cena. John Cena on WWE's Mount Rushmore? I'll leave Bruno San Martino aside for a second because that was a much different era. You're talking about really a territory, so it's not the same type of company, right? So no disrespect to Bruno, but let's take him out. Anybody that is anybody with any type of functioning brain whatsoever that would look at a WWE Mount Rushmore and decide, oh, I better have John Cena over on it over fucking Vince McMahon is a moron and should be treated as such.
Could you imagine expecting to be taken seriously when you spit out driveling dumb shit like that? Saying that fucking John Cena is one of the four biggest stars in WWE history. That's just fundamentally bullshit. Ain't no way in hell he's on Hogan, Austin, or Rock's level. I think everybody concedes that. Then you say that four spot. Vince McMahon is a bigger star than John Cena. More mainstream relevance than John Cena. And if you're going to say, well, not true anymore, that's because Cena had to go to Hollywood to get the shit to the level that he never could as a fucking professional wrestler. It's different. As a fucking wrestler, it ain't close. And furthermore, it pisses me off when I see people do this shit and say dumb shit like this, and they don't give props to somebody like Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant had a stretch of a decade where he was arguably the biggest draw in the goddamn business. Tell me when John Cena has 33 million people tuning to watch one of his fucking matches on the main event. Then we'll fucking talk about him belonging to Mount Rushmore. Until that, stop saying that shit. To the people that want to sit there and buy into the propaganda that's been pounded down their throats for almost two decades now, I retort with this. If John Cena's the GOAT, how come he can never be a heel and be an effective one when he was at the top? I don't want to hear your bullshit. I don't want to hear your excuses. I don't want to hear your Vince wouldn't allow it. WWE wouldn't allow it. No, the reason it wasn't allowed is because he couldn't fucking do it. He couldn't fucking do it. And you're going to say, well, what about Thugonomics, John? What about him? That's back in 2002. A whole entirely different attitude, an entirely different time, right? It wasn't corporate breakfast club fucking Cena, that's for damn sure. And furthermore, if he's so goddamn great and awesome, if he's truly the goat of all time, how could the only reason that he gets you pretty unanimous cheers now from the fans is because he goes away for months of the fucking time and comes back. How come a guy that so many people talk about belongs at WWE's Mount Rushmore, so many people talk about being WWE's fucking GOAT, couldn't get the right damn crowd reaction for over a decade to the point where the WWE had to put out an intentional shift in how they talked about things. They blew up their use of canned noise to cover the boo scene he used to fucking get. He's supposed to be the hero and he's getting booed out of the building half of the fucking time. No, that's not the fans' fault. That scene is in WWE's fucking fault. Goat my ass. And I saw somebody tweet the other day talking about, oh, it's an interesting fact. And you know what they were alluding to, even though they didn't directly say it, talking about, well, Cena either was in the main event of or had a title match and five of the the five highest pay-per-view buy rate WrestleManias of all time. And, and they were listed like 27, 28, 24, 21, 23. And when you look at those, you say, well, fucking Rock was the biggest draw for 27 and 28. I can't imagine that being argued. 24, you know, some people rightly pointed out on Twitter, that's Floyd Money Mayweather drew that. He certainly didn't hurt, right? But Ric Flair's retirement match, I would argue, is a bigger draw. Taker Edge in the main event, the streak, is a bigger fucking draw. 21, Batista. That was the fucking draw. 23, it was Donald Trump and Vince McMahon and their shit. That was the draw. So even the shit that people want to talk about and they use it directly or indirectly as an attempt to peddle the propaganda for pro Cena goat shit. Leave out so much goddamn context. Look, if you like Cena, fine. Stop fucking lying about it. If he was so goddamn great, how come he couldn't properly control the crowds for over a decade when he was at the fucking top? If he was so goddamn great, how come he didn't elevate more talent that he worked with over the years? If he was so goddamn great, you want to talk about the click when it comes to WWF back in the day, you should call him Dr. Clickonomics. Because what happened every time Cena came on, as the years went by, millions of wrestling fans started going click, click, click. And tuning out fucking WWE. Oh, people cord cutting, cord cutting my ass. The only reason people are that pumped up to see Cena anymore, it was a guilty pleasure of them for years. They got fucking addicted to it like meth or heroin or some shit like that. And now they get a little bit of a hit and they're like, ooh, that feels good. And then he goes the fuck away. Goat my ass. WWE Mount Rushmore on my ass. You like Cena? Great. 
Be honest about who he was. That's all I ask. Stop peddling propaganda and intentionally misleading bullshit and flat out lying about who Cena was. This, once again, was your yearly reminder of why this John Cena propaganda is fucking ridiculous.